Scientists are leaving the U.S. and heading back to China. On August 27th, the China and U.S. Science and Technology Cooperation Agreement is set to expire. For the past 44 years, it has established cooperations in areas such as environmental science, agriculture science, physics, and chemistry between the two countries. However, chances of renewal is slim, and it has worried many in the U.S. The Wall Street Journal has warned that cutting research ties with China will threaten American progress in critical areas. With their own agendas in mind, those in the Capitol Hills are unlikely to answer the call. But what they don't realize is that these hurdles are forcing Chinese scientists to make up their minds on a tough decision. Recently, renowned biochemist Guan Kunliang, formerly a distinguished professor at the University of California, San Diego, announced his return to China to join Westlake University. Many other top scientists have also chosen to leave the United States and go back to China. Zhu Zongchun, a computer scientist from the University of California, and Xie Xiaoliang, former Harvard professor and a biophysical chemist, are also returning to China. Given the tense relation between the two countries and the intense scrutiny of Chinese researchers in the U.S., the number of Chinese scientists leaving the United States has surged dramatically in the last decade. According to reports last month in Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, the number of Chinese scientists leaving the U.S. for China or elsewhere increased from 900 in 2010 to 2,621 in 2021. Among them, the rate of return accelerated between 2018 and 2021. The Wall Street Journal reported that in 2021, more than 1,400 Chinese scientists gave up academic or corporate posts in the United States, with many even abandoning tenure positions to return to China. Although this number accounts for a small fraction of Chinese scientists in the United States, the rapid overall growth in data still reflects the growing concerns among researchers. An important driver for the return of Chinese scientists was the China Initiative launched by the Trump administration in 2018. During the initiative, the FBI started a new case on the so-called counterintelligence case every 10 hours. A large number of Chinese scientists, university professors, corporate executives, and other technical talents were investigated as criminal suspects. Although the Biden administration put a stop to this particular policy after taking office, he has nevertheless significantly stepped up the technology war and blockade against China. Recently, he introduced the new laws limiting investment in Chinese tech sectors, making life harder for Chinese researchers. In the PNAS survey, more than one third of Chinese scientists felt unwelcomed in the United States. 72% felt unsafe as academic researchers. About 70% were fearful of U.S. government investigations into researchers of Chinese descent, and 61% admitted having considered opportunities outside of the United States. Even Americans themselves believe that in the long run, the sustained loss of talent could have a major detrimental impact on U.S. scientific research. The United States and China are each other's number one partners in scientific research, and collaborative research between the two countries has constantly ranked among the most cited papers in all fields. In some areas, the U.S. relies more heavily on China than China on the U.S. For example, nanotechnology and telecommunications. But data shows that cooperative output between them has fallen by 15% since 2022. At the same time, China has seen significant growth in global scientific research. The Nature Index, a reputable indicator of scientific research output, confirms China's growing dominance. Between 2015 and 2021, China's contribution to the Nature Index continued to rise. By 2022, it has surpassed the United States for the first time. China is also recruiting overseas talent as well as increasing investment in research and development. It is speeding up progress in new energy, artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and quantum. Patterns of international cooperation are changing. 
Moving forward, it remains to be seen how these changes will impact global research partnership and innovation. But for now, we can confirm that Chinese scientists leaving the United States is bad news for Washington.